guys. I'm going to be making this big tray today. And what I'd like to try is a watercolor type of technique. So I'm going to be using these three uh, pigments. Solid color, moon blue. Let's see, we got the moon blue, the lotus, which is a purpley color, and then pink purple, which is more pink than purple. <laughs> um, so I've got three. I'm going to do a very shallow uh, covering of the bottom, and then I think I might cover it with a clear with some flakes on top uh, and just see what that looks like. So I've got three cups of uh, resin here. I'm just going to do colors in each one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Eleven. Well, just to make it even, because I am OC like that. Oh, I never used that one before. Put the hole in the top. There we go. One. Oh, okay. Well, we've got squirts on that one. It's all right. And then the blue. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Stir these up. It's getting a little warm. I was using some for another project, so it's been sitting for a little bit. It's very light, so I'm going to have to add more to the pink, I think. Pink, I think. Let's mix the others. Ooh, that's a very pretty blue. This purple and pink are looking very similar. Uh, so what I might do is add a little bit of this brighter purple to the purple one. Let's do one, two, three drops. Oh, let's do four. And that was snow green. I think that's mislabeled. That's funny. I'm looking at the greens. Bamboo green, light green, water green. It must just be mislabeled. That's funny. Oh, it got really windy all of a sudden. What just happened? Oh, now it's getting stuck in the mold. Darn it. Okay, so those are looking a little different. I am going to add a little bit more. Uh, is that brighter pink? I think they do. That's okay. I'll just do a little bit more pink. It'll just be on the lighter side, which is okay. Two, three, four, five. Just add five more. That's a little bit better. Okay, I need to get pouring because this is getting warm. Mold again. Darn wind. Comes out of nowhere. All right, let's get pouring. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. We'll just
<laughs> it's actually doing a lot of what I wanted it to do on its own. I wish there was a little more blue over here, but that's okay. bubbles come to the surface. I don't know if you can see that over here. Yeah, a little bit. All right, here we go. I'm do low because I don't want it to mix too much. I'm going to pop some bubbles. What's happening? That's okay. We're going to cover it with another layer. So, I'm going to do Just a little bit. hairs from wind. showing up. They blend very nicely. I'm also really liking this area right here. So it'll probably move a bit uh, as it starts to cure. Um, and I'm okay with that. What's a bubble? <laughs> okay, and you got all the hairs out. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. Okay. Uh, so, we will... No wind, stop! Oh, garage problems. Um, so, I will let cure overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, and I'll probably add... <laughs> probably add silver on top. Although the wind is popping some of my bubbles, which is good. Uh, I'll probably add silver on top. Uh, silver leaf. It's just a clear coat. Oh no! Wind, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Got a box under it to, to protect it. Oh no. Alright, I gotta get this covered, so we'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, we are back with this guy, gal, whatever you want to call it. Um, it actually ended up blending more than I was hoping for. It's still so pretty. Um, it's just a lot more subtle than I was hoping it would be. Uh, so I'm trying to decide if I go back with another layer of all these colors that I did and try to make them a bit brighter. And then I still have quite a bit of room within the mold. Uh, so I could do that and then do the coat with the leafing on top. I think I might do that. So, let me grab my inks here. I think what I'll do, so I've got, move this out of the way for a second. 
got a lot of inks here. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is I'll use the brighter purple from yesterday, the brighter blue, and the same pink. So let's see. Bluegrass. Is that the one I used? I used moon blue. So I think I'll use the snow green, which obviously <laughs> this is not green. I'll use just that instead of mixing it with the other purple. I'll use the bluegrass because they're much, uh, much this much brighter. Uh, and this, let's see, this is this is the original purple we used. So I think we'll swap those out. I'll use this pink still but i think what i'll do is add might add some rose quartz color just to make it pop a little bit or even this sugar light is like a pinkish just to make it a bit brighter and we'll see if that if that works so i have i have like this it's called red bean and it's more red. So is this one. It's like orangey, salmon-y and that's not really what I'm going for. Uh, so I think I'll do that. So I'll take out the red or the sugar light, sugar light, yeah, and the rose quartz and we'll see what those do. I don't think I have any other pinks. Yeah, everything else is red or orange. Um, I could use an alcohol ink. But it's just, it, it's so transparent and I just, I don't know. So, I'm going to set these to the side. And uh, so I'll keep that to the side for now as well. And we'll mix up some colors. these evenly as best we can. I could, I could weigh them, but really not necessary in this case. They don't have to be perfectly the same. They're perfectly even with each other. Here we go. So much brighter blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excuse me. The, the hiccups. We've got our purple. We'll do the same. One, two, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'll do 15. Then I'll do, I'll do 10 of this and then we'll add some of the other pigment and see if that makes a difference. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'll mix it up first and then we can add one drop at a time to each. So mix up the purple. Yeah, so you can already tell that this is a lot more vibrant. And I think if it does end up kind of mixing with the other colors, you'll still be able to see it a lot. Like I feel like in this one, the purple got lost a lot. I see lots of pink, lots of blue, and kind of whitish. Um, but not a lot of purple.
Okay. We might end up adding more. We'll see. Mix up the blue. Lots more vibrant. Okay, now pink, and we'll do some additions with the other pigments. I don't want it to be too bright or overpowering, so we'll go slow. Yeah, like that's almost white. It's just not enough. Okay, so I'm going to start with one drop of this sugar light and see if that makes the difference. You can see how concentrated that is color-wise. Um, so yeah, it's already... I think I have resin on my hands. Too. Yeah, see, it's already much pinker. More pink. <laughs> Uh, than it was. I think I'll do one more. There we go. Yeah, see that already looks... It's hard for you to see, I know, in the cup. Hopefully when I start to pour it, you'll see the difference. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so we've got our three colors here. Might add a little bit more to the purple. Let's do like one, two, three drops. There we go. Let's make it a little more concentrated. Nothing crazy. Sorry if you can hear trucks in the background. Okay. Like those. Let's see if they make a difference. And we're going to do the same thing that we did yesterday. Um, just kind of randomly pour. So I'll do blue. That. Wipe off my hands because again they're sticky mess. <laughs> and then we will use our heat gun, blow it around a little bit. Alright. There we go. There we go. Some bubbles. 
start to move it a little bit. Kind of give it a little blended, but nothing crazy. I'll turn it up a little. This also helps soften some of those lines, so it looks kind of harsh before, and now it's looking a lot more blended. I don't want to get too crazy. So the purple has kind of disappeared a little bit. You can kind of see it. I think it just adds a little more depth. It might just look like a darker pink, um, but I'm okay with that. Uh, this is looking really pretty. So we'll let this again cure overnight. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll do the top coat with uh, probably silver flake. Uh, and it'll just be really subtle. We won't do a lot of flake in there, just enough to give it a little sparkle. Uh, yeah. All right. So we'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Hello guys. We are back with this gorgeous thing. I'm so excited with how this is looking. It blended just like I wanted it to. Uh, so it looks very watercolor-y. <laughs> uh, that's not a word, but you know. Um, so I'm loving the way it looks. And the purple is actually showing up a lot better than I, I thought it would. Uh, so I'm a big fan. I apologize for my squeaky mask. Anytime I take a breath and I don't know why that's happening. Um, <laughs> but we'll just roll with it. Uh, so I have mixed up some resin so we can do our top coat on here. I'm going to do a silver leaf. Um, this got a lot of bubbles in it when I was stirring. I thought I was going slow, but I guess it wasn't. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute while I grab my leaf. Um, I mean, it's going to be such a thin layer that the bubbles will come out anyway. Uh, so we've got our leaf here. I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, let me, uh, going to just pop some of these bubbles at the surface. It's not really doing a whole lot. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to start again anyway, so it's okay. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to start pulling out individual sheets. Now you want to make sure you don't have huge chunks or they're just going to stay chunks uh, as you're stirring. Um, so what I like to do, like this one, is several sheets. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, like right here, you can see all the different sheets. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just start pulling them apart. Uh, so that they can be separate. There we go. So that's one sheet. I'm just going to lay it in there. Go back again for some more. Uh, and I don't want to do too much because I want it to be very transparent so you can see the colors through it still. Um, but I just want a little sparkle on the top. So I think I'll start with that. We'll see how that looks as we mix it. And then again, I'm going to try and break them up a little bit so they're not in big chunks. I can also break them up when I pour them in there just because it'll be so shallow. So many bubbles. It'll be fun to pop when I pour it. I'm just looking at this from the side, I can go add a little bit more, just a tad. Go 
that. Trick static -y. Come on. <laughs> Right down there and kind of break it up a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's see what it looks like when you pour it out. I can always add more in in the mold if I want to. Okay, so here we go. Wipe this off and put it to the side. Put that out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to need all of this. Well, I guess maybe I will. I just had to estimate how much of the mold I had already filled. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be filled to the top. I just wanted enough to, to cover in a layer. All right. So there's all of that. I think that's actually the perfect amount of silver. Spread all this out. Again, I'm going to break up some of these bigger chunks just because I want it to be more subtle. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Ugh. Just love when I get new ideas and trying them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but I just get so excited when I end up loving them and they end up working for me. It's very, uh, very satisfying. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. It's so pretty. I'm loving these colors. Spread it out a little bit. I want it to be a little organic so it doesn't have to be all evenly spaced, but I don't want to have any super empty spots. Oh, I love it. Okay, I am going to take my torch on low. Maybe. Not out of. Maybe out of. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to pop some bubbles. I'm so excited. What I saw a speck of dirt. I don't know where it went now. There it is. Okay. There we go. Breaking up some of those bigger pieces still. Alright, one more good. Alright, and there we have it. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I do wonder if I'll have to come back for a top coat just in case some of these pieces are sticking out a little bit. We shall see. Should be okay. We'll see. Uh, I'll keep. I'll come back in a little bit and just torch again to make sure there's no little bubbles underneath some of these. Uh, but other than that, we will come back tomorrow once it has cured and we will unmold. All right, see you guys then. Okay, guys, we're back with this gorgeous, gorgeous tray. I'm really happy with how it turned out um, and we're ready to unmold it. So here we go. 
Oh no. <laughs> I didn't use that much heat. I wonder if it just got too hot. It was really warm yesterday. Um, so my resin might have just gotten too hot. We'll see if we can get this out without damaging the mold or the tray for that matter. Hmm. All right guys, so I, have, I literally had to take a knife um, and cut most of the way around. You can see how it's sticking here. Um, so the, the mold is essentially ruined. Um, just be really careful if you're doing, if you're having to do this. Make sure to cut away from your hand. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to cut. <laughs> so much for this mold. Luckily it was a cheap one. Uh, just off of Amazon. Yeah, you can see, okay. Well, essentially, this mold is ruined. Um, I think what happened, because it only stuck at the top, so I think what happened is when we did the clear coat yesterday, uh, it was too warm. And so when it cured, 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 um, it, uh, just melted the silicone to it. Um, again, that's okay. It was a super cheap one from Amazon. Used it a couple times. But yeah, it's definitely ruined. I don't think you can fix that. And it's got a bunch of chunks missing from the edges as well. So it'll never quite be the same. Uh, so I will just toss that and, uh, Maybe try and find a higher quality mold. But this still turned out gorgeous. Um, I am gonna have to do some trimming around the edges because there's some silicone stuck, uh, stuck on the edges like right here, um, which I could probably do. I'll probably, I have a little, um, a little tool that I could use. But yeah, because the rest of it didn't stick. The rest of it had no problem. So it must've just been yesterday. Um, that had the issues, but it's still so pretty and I, I love it. I think it turned out great. It'd be perfect for jewelry or setting some really pretty perfume bottles on or, uh, yeah, just like a really pretty plant could go on top of it and kind of anything you want. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I will clean it up and I will, can't decide if I want to do silver around the edges or just leave it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the bottom actually ended up turning out really pretty. So if you'll remember on this one, we did a, a layer and it ended up being really light um, on the bottom because I think all the color sank to the bottom of the mold instead of sitting at the top of this layer. So I did another layer, which is this colored layer here. And that turned out, I made the colors brighter and then I just put the clear over the top. Um, yeah, so there you go. The back is really pretty. You could use it by your, itself if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so I'll take some pictures once I get it cleaned up. Um, yeah, like all kinds of, all kinds of silicone uh, on the outside here. So, uh, but thank you for watching. This was a really fun one to try out. Uh, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to this to my channel. Uh, it does, it does me a lot of good and it helps me grow my channel and it's free for you. So I really appreciate that. Um, we'll see you guys next time.